Hey guys and gals, what's up? Got a quick unboxing. I know a lot of people have seen this before, but hey, I'm gonna put it up also. It's uh, the Centurion box uh, from GW. This is Devastator Squad also, or oh, you could make it Assault Squad. Same thing, I think you get the same spear, uh, pieces, bits uh, on the spears, spears, uh, whatever. Uh, well, at least that's what I'm hoping. I'm gonna try to get this done soon. This is gonna have like a couple of projects uh, that need to be painted, but this probably will be my next one that I built. So it'll be the next, hopefully, when I'm done with those paint jobs, this will be the next thing that I paint. Again, I'm gonna paint mine as Black Templars. Um, I haven't seen that many around. Um, I'm pretty sure they are on the internet but I haven't really uh, I'm saying like in my local games that I go to or the local uh, Facebook pages that I visited uh, I haven't seen really too much uh, of these painted in Black Templar scheme but there you go uh, see you do see the weapons there you see the the, the salt weapons that I guess the drill hammers or the drills that, that are for sieging um, can't wait to play them uh, I know they are pretty you know, from what I hear, they are the squads, uh, the units you have nowadays. Um, so hopefully, I'll, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I should magnetize them and just or just build them as one and get another one and build them as the other. Probably go magnetize, you know, uh, so I could switch back and forth. And if I do get another one, I could have two of the same uh, or one of each. Oh, and you know, switch back and forth. Because all these uh, new formations that are coming out, you know, they they are they're trying for you to uh, buy their models. But if you you do if you do magnetize, you could probably get away with it. You can see this marine underneath there, uh, his legs. Uh, so it's just a marine inside of big space marine armor. Almost like uh, I guess like uh, well I guess this is the space marines uh, answer to the Grey Knights uh, suit probably right. Whatever happened to Great Knights? I haven't heard them uh, about anything about them lately. Uh, when I got into the hobby, that's when they were just uh, doing all that old, uh, crazy stuff, and they were OP. And uh, yeah, these instructions, tools you need, of course, GW tools. I wonder if the new packaging has the new uh, <laughs> tools that they that they are producing. So you can see again there the legs, the instructions, 3D uh, instructions of the model. And the both types, as you can see there, that one has the last cannons. Wow, that's interesting. I didn't know you could equip them with last cannons. Uh, the Siege of f Format. Uh, so it's going to be lots of fun. Um, hopefully you guys, uh, if you haven't seen these videos, uh, all the unboxing of it, hopefully you got your your info that you needed. Some, I guess, some poses there in the back. Um, so a lot of stuff, a lot of extra little bits that I, 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 in my case, or when I, when I, I prefer using everything I can from the box, you know, I, I think of it as I, I pay for it. So I'm going to try to jam pack everything on it, like all those things. A lot of people just put the basic, the weapons, and they're ready to go. But it's kind of uh, bad when you do that, when you try to use everything, you, there's more stuff to paint, more details to paint, uh, the decals, I guess, regular same decals I've been having since I joined the hobby. Uh, the bases, it's the, the bigger bases, the Dreadnought bases, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe something new. Um, but yeah, so it's three spears. Uh, one, I guess, per uh, guy, I guess, right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. More to come. Stay tuned. Take care.